Prediction Murder is the third and final Ruby Herring Mysteries film, and while it's definitely better than the second film, it's not as good as the first film, and I just found it to be quite boring. It's not bad. There were problems with the second film, whereas this one didn't really have any problems. Ruby actually wasn't very irritating, and she has been for the previous two films, so that was quite nice. But I just found this to be very mundane and just not an interesting narrative. This was released in 2022. It's directed by Neil Fernley and written by Andrea Canning. And of course, it stars Taylor Cole as Ruby and Stephen Hazar as Jake. And the characters are absolutely fine in this. I don't have any problems with any of them. It was quite refreshing for Ruby to not be irritating. And I won't give any spoilers for the outcome of this film, just in case you do want to watch it. But I'm kind of glad there were only three because I'm not exactly enthusiastic. If the series ever comes back, then I will watch the next one. I will give it a chance. But at the moment kind of glad this is the third one because the story is quite boring. It revolves around the murder of uh, a psychic and Ruby, who is actually now a crime reporter, she's got the job she wants, is investigating this. That makes sense. It certainly makes more sense for her to be investigating this than if she were the consumer reporter. And I think that gives her a stronger link with with Jake, with the police force. And I think that was the right decision. Had the series continued, I think that was a good stepping stone for the character. However, the, the, the murder is boring. It's so dull. And yes, there are a couple of suspects who I thought could have been responsible. And I was I was curious enough to find out. And I didn't make up my mind who I thought it was. So I was quite keen to see what direction they'd take with it. But at the same time, not a lot happens. It's very slow. They don't have that many new leads. And there's not a lot of, you know, forensics and things like that. So the actual criminal investigation side is rather flat. And it just doesn't have a lot to offer. There's far too much information or time spent on Ruby's personal life, somebody from her past. All of that's fine in little pieces, but when it overshadows the mystery, it's not the right way to structure a narrative of this kind. So it's just, it's not a good story. But as I said, it's not problematic. The previous film, the second Ruby Herring mystery, was a bad film. Whereas the first one was pretty interesting, this one, not so much. If I were to rank them, I'd say the first one was the strongest, and then this one, and then obviously the second film uh, which I believe was called Her Last Breath. Would I recommend this? Well, if you're a fan of Hallmark Mysteries in general, I'd say give it a go, because worst case scenario, you watch them and then you don't ever watch them again, and you can say you've seen them, you've given them a chance. As I said, if they make a fourth film, I, I will watch it. I will give it the time of day, and as I did with this one, I will go into it with an open mind. But unfortunately, we have a character who is not that interesting, Yes, I was thankful that Ruby wasn't irritating here. She didn't seem like quite as much of a liability for the case as she did in the previous film. So I think over time, I could become a fan of the character. But I don't think she's the best written. But I am seeing improvements in this particular film. So if there is a fourth film and so on, then yes, she could become a likeable protagonist. Jake, I don't have any real problems with. As I said previously, he does seem a little bit unprofessional. But that wasn't something that was apparent in this film. So again, over time, I think those problems could be ironed out. But for the moment, it looks like Prediction Murder is the last one that we're getting. If anybody can confirm either way, please feel free to do so. But for now, I didn't mind watching this, but I'm kind of glad it's the last one. It's not a problematic film. It's just not an interesting story and the balance between the mystery and Ruby's personal life just isn't quite right. So I'm not bothered about a fourth one not being there at the moment. Maybe one day we'll get one, but for now, kind of glad it's over.